Hello, beautiful, beautiful black people. Uh, I hope that all is well in your world. And this day, and this day, and this day will become a very, very, very good day for you and all of your wonderful, wonderful black loved ones. <clears throat> beautiful, beautiful, intelligent black people. In the entire history of these United States of America, we have never elected a woman as president. And we have only had one president who was not a white boy. It is time to bring an end to white politics. White politics has ruined our public education system. White politics have ruined it. Our public education system is endemic with inequities discrimination, injustices, miseducation of black folks, of black children, etc., etc. White politics is killing the planet Earth. White politics is killing the planet Earth by a thing that is called climate change that is fueled by all of these dumb, idiotic, illogical decisions that are made by white politicians that are empowering these white racist CEOs, owners of these manufacturing companies to spear toxins into the air that we breathe, into the atmosphere, running the ozone layer, poisoning our water supply, poisoning our food, etc., etc. White politics must be terminated. White politics must be exterminated, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. Do you know that there's nothing wrong with being a liberal, but these white liberals have been doing some things that is terribly wrong during the past five decades. All of the errors made by democratic liberal politicians worked in Trump's favor in 2016. Trump ran a campaign on white identity politics and the operative word is white. He ran a campaign on white identity politics. He very successfully tapped into the uninformed, low info, white male anger, white male anger and hatred for black folks people that look like me. And he 
aggregated, empowered them to organize, to vote for him and elect him president of these United States. Do you know that Trump only only garnered 46.1% of the popular vote? Hillary Clinton in 2016 got 3.5 million more of the popular vote than Donald Trump did. But because of this, strategically used tool, it is a racist tool, by the way. It is a discriminative tool. It is a tool that was put in place to appease the Jim Crow believing white folks in the southern states. And that tool is called the Electoral College. Hence is why the white supremacy believe in Republican Party will not even invite or tolerate discussions regarding removing the Electoral College because the Electoral College enables the Republicans to use a race-based strategy called the Southern Strategy, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. We need to bring an end to white politics, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. White politics is our enemy. White politics is our enemy. They have a death, D-E-A-T-H, cult mentality. Look at how white politics is allowing the COVID-19 disease to multiply exponentially, to multiply exponentially, out of control, killing now more than 1,000 Americans every day. Yesterday, COVID-19 killed 1,400 Americans. It is more than 1,000 per day. The virus is out of, is out of control. And the Republican-led U.S. Senate, the Republican-led white boy house, is doing nothing. They have a death cult mentality regarding black folks and brown folks, especially people that look like me. They will never, ever change. They are using COVID-19 as a weapon, as a weapon to kill, to kill black folks, to kill brown folks, to suppress the vote. If black folks are dead, if brown folks are dead, they cannot vote. If black folks are sick, if black folks are sick, if brown folks are sick and quarantined, they cannot vote. If the Republican Party destroy the U.S. Postal Service, then black folks and brown folks cannot vote. These white folks 
these white folks, these white folks are killing us. These white folks are killing us, black folks and brown folks. These white folks are killing us in an effort to spur, to spur, S-P-U-R, the economy that would serve a Republican purpose. We need to end white politics. White politics is our enemy. They have they have raised a war on immigrants, brown folks and black folks. They are trying to build walls around these United States. They will they will say if we cannot deport you black folks and brown folks if we cannot deport you then we will kill you by any means possible. The COVID-19 disease slash virus have been weaponized. Have been weaponized. Remember the names of those white supremacy believing Republican U.S. Senators and those white Supremacy believe in U.S. Supreme Court justices. The white supremacy believe in William Barr of the DOJ, the Department of Justice. The white supremacy believe in Mike Pompeo of the State Department. The white supremacy believe in Mike Pence, the white boy, the dumb white boy, almost as dumb as Trump, as vice president. We need to bring an end to white politics. They are willing to do anything necessary to sustain the power that they have and they are willing to do anything possible to grab more power. Hence is why Trump has become a blessing to these white supremacy believing U.S. Senators Trump has become a blessing to them. They are kneeling. They are kneeling at the feet of Trump, licking his boots, tugging on his testicles, and kissing the white boy's ass. Those white supremacists believe in U.S. Congress people like Devin Nunes. Jim Jordan, Matt Gates, U.S. Senators like Marco Rubio, John Thune, John Cohen, Mitch McConnell, Ted Cruz. They're all on their knees, kneeling, tugging on Trump's testicles, licking his boots, and kissing the dumb white boy's ass, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. The end of white politics. The end of white politics 
is a goal that all progressives like myself have in their vision of what these United States should be and what it will be sometime in the future. The demographics on this plantation called America are changing. And in order for progressive politics to prevail, we must know that we must bring an end to white politics. We must eliminate all of these white supremacy believing politicians in the U.S. Congress, in the U.S. Senate, on the U.S. Supreme Court, in in the U.S. Department of Justice, in the State Department, and yes, in the white boy house, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. The end of white politics is our goal. That's all I have on this one.